still morning. But first tonight, new signs of hate and division showing up. Good evening. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. Cryptic hate messages have been spray painted on and around churches in Webster Groves. This comes just days after News 4 told you about anonymous confrontational letters sent to homeowners with Black Lives Matter signs. All new at 10 News 4's Ashley Lincoln is in Webster Groves tonight with the anger this new development is now sparking. Ashley. Well, Corey, this church holds weekly Black Lives Matter vigils here in their front lawn. Now they get a lot of support from the community, but today while we were out here, we did notice a small group of non-supporters screaming out hateful messages. Church leaders tell us it's that same mindset behind individuals spray painting hateful slurs up and down this sidewalk that have now been erased. These numbers spray painted on a sidewalk represent a message of hate and lies. Others like it have been painted around local churches in the Webster Groves community. I'm frustrated and angry and just sad uh, about what's happening. Reverend Wendy Bruner says she received a call Friday morning after someone spotted the message 13 slash 50 scribbled around her church, Peace United Church of Christ. The hate erased with cleaning, but they're the second Webster Groves church to get tagged. It seems very unthreatening, but people are threatened. Her congregation holds weekly Black Lives Matter vigils. We're on uh, vigil number 15. So what exactly does 13 slash 50 mean? According to the Anti-Defamation League, it's short hand reference used by white supremacists to depict African Americans as criminals. The number 13 represents the percentage of African Americans in the U.S., while the 50 falsely refers to the percentage of murders committed by African Americans. The ADL says sometimes 1352 is also used. But according to the most recently published FBI crime in the U.S. data, it shows that whites lead as homicide offenders in 2018. It's made to make people who are African American seem like criminals, and that's just not the case. Whoever is um, has a particular political point of view is probably behind this. News 4 showed you earlier this week an anonymous letter being sent around to Webster Groves homes that display Black Lives Matter signs. The letter has various threat tactics to get people to pull their signs, such as community safety being endangered and that blacks will cause property values to drop. State Representative Sarah Unsicker fears as we inch closer to the election, more hate will surface. I'm worried that it's going to escalate too. I'm worried about violence and I'm worried about the safety of this community. Reverend Bruner says these recent hateful actions are at the core of the reason why they will continue to hold these vigils. We will not stop until uh, we feel like Black Lives Matter and uh, we're uh, obviously a far distance away from that. And those messages were also spray painted in Barbary Park. We do know that that is a historic park dedicated to Webster's Grove history with their black community that was in that area. We do know that city officials have removed the markings from that park as well. Corey. Well, Ashley, this is now the second incident in as many days. Are police involved? Yeah, we wanted to know that as well. I did reach out to Webster Groves Police. I did send out a message. We're waiting to hear back. However, during our story, we did notice that police were driving by and did stop for a brief second while our story was playing. So we do know that they are out here patrolling these churches since this incident. I also reached out to St. Louis County Police to see if they're involved. They told us that they are not aware at this time, but they are looking into the situation. Corey.